I'm Frank Barish, Miss Diller. Frank Barish, live at the Madhouse. Under this Hennessy bottle, which was so nicely left there. Hennessy bottle, Phyllis Diller. And the Madhouse, San Diego. And Frank Barish, oh yeah. Live from the Madhouse in San Diego, oh yeah. I need y'all to please make it loud for the next president of the United States. Woo! Oh, ghost of Phyllis Diller, won't you? I'll take my edible, you had your martinis or whatever. I have no idea. Anyway, I'm leaving her. Da, 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 oh yeah. Let's go do this. Frank Woo! Frank! Ah, uh, see? Frank Barish fans right there, folks. It's like Phyllis Diller. You know how you can tell? Oh, yeah. Right? Here we go. Every day in American politics is like a roller coaster. You never know what's going to happen. But I assure you, Frank Barish stands for America. MAGFO! Make America great for once! Watch out for that banana peel. See, I'm a comedian, but I'm also a person, and that's a horrible thing to do. I mean, it's a, it could it could have been funny. Could have been funny if you'd slipped on that, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome, bro. You have a nice day. And the world is safe. <laughs> How you doing? I just wanted to apologize. I realized you weren't deliberately being rude to me. You were just ignorant. And I, I apologize, man. I apologize, man. It's Frank Barris for you, folks. It's kind of my thing. I'll tell you what now. What about taxpayer dollars? I, uh, yeah, I really don't want to have to call the cops. So and as I've explained, them. the cops aren't going to make me leave because I'm on a public sidewalk. They're going to tell you you're pants soliciting. I'm not it, though. It's a misdemeanor. It, it is if it, it is if I say pass. something or if I'm wa waving people down. As long as I'm standing here silently With and not bothering anyone. Up? You, can you take a picture of your sign? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's just it's pants listening when you're. It at, isn't when, though. When people come and give you money, sir, it is because I did witness mm -hmm. people come and give you things. You witnessed that? Yes, I did. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, don't, don't be too eager. Don't be too eager. I came over here and gave me something and she went back to her car. Uh -huh. Yeah, I did witness that. Okay, but I did not solicit that. Well, you have a sign up, sir. That is asking soliciting. a question. It's literally freedom of speech. So go ahead. As I've explained, I'm not leaving. So if you're calling the cops, let's get it done. Let's just get it done. Let's get it. I mean, obviously, I got to take everything out of this cart because that's going to be what they threaten me with. All right, so. Let's do this. Let's call these cops. I guess it is creepy when someone just stands there and videotapes you. I mean, that's creepy. <laughs> Morning, gentlemen. San Diego How are you? Police. What's up? San Diego Police. How you doing? Fantastic. You? Good. I'm gonna complain to the security guards about you panhandling here. However, I am just standing here passively. Okay, yeah, that's I mean, what we told him. Yeah. Is that ID for me? Yeah, I, I assumed you'd want to see it. Oh, well, I really appreciate that. Oh, Thank you me. know. Oh, this is like an ode to Phyllis, isn't it? Phyllis Diller, I barely know. I'm here to av avenge the death of Ciara Estrada, so. Who's that? That was a San Diego police officer who was killed in 2016 by a San Diego police officer. So I'm I'm here to help bring her story to justice. So I'm I'm on your side. I right. appreciate that. Because I assume you're on the side of the good cop, not the bad cop. That's me assuming. Well, I'd say you're correct. Ah, good. That's fantastic. Do 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 do. Do by Seth or Derek? Seth. Actually, Frank, but Frank? it's not on the not the on the ID yet. It costs like three grand to change your name. It's so much work. Woo! You on parole or probation or anything? No. Okay. So you guys never heard of Ciara Estrada? No, I can't say that. Wow. I, I have. 
She wore that uniform seven years ago. And just forgotten. My name is Frank Barish and I believe in America. Do you have a mailing address right now? I sure don't. Okay. I mean, I'm next to a mailbox, but not... <laughs> no, okay. No, I don't. Say. So what about the, uh, Sergeant Yu? He's probably a lieutenant by now. No, oh, he's still Sergeant Yu. Still Sergeant Yu? Yeah. How's he doing? He's good. He's down with the watch commander's office. Oh, okay. He's, he's, so he's not in the field anymore? Uh, I haven't seen him in the field, so he doesn't work up here if he does. Oh, wow. And the ghost, the ghost of Phyllis Diller. So he's still downtown, and then he fills in the watch commander stuff. Good for him. How do you know him? Oh, he harassed me back and forth across the city back in 2016. Okay. What part of the city? Uh, I believe it was OB. OB? Oh, okay. I believe, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, Frank. Well, we just wanted to come and see, see how you're doing. All right. I well, already told the security guard you're on public sidewalk and you're not blocking the entrance and you're not within 200 feet of the intersection, so... All right. We have, we have no criminal complaint to address with you. As I tried to explain to the security guy, but I figured it comes better from you. It is what it is. We like to educate both sides. We say we come over here and ask if you would leave willingly, but yeah. I, we can't force you. Of course. So yeah. You do what you need to do. Okay? And you know what? That's what Ciara said. When I Eight million people saw the YouTube video of her being nice to me. And then, of course, the FBI recruited her to fuck with me. And she said no, and they shot her in the head. One of you got someone in that uniform was your boyfriend, and then you know what they told her, her family? They told her family she committed suicide on New Year's Eve by shooting herself directly between the eyes. Weird. Yeah. But now I'm I'm here to fix that. So you guys have a great day. I got it. Oh. Okay. Drive is next. You sold that though. What? You sold that that you didn't know she got me. I thought I sold the lead. I hit the Michael oh, Jackson. that too. I hit the Michael Jackson. Yeah, no, Michael Jackson lean. You got it. Like now, now, can you do the moonwalk? I don't think so. Uh, That's the only best for me. Right, same, same here, man. Never perfected it. Ciara Estrada. You should look her up. She was a great cop. She was one of the good ones. Appreciate that. You guys, I appreciate your cooperation. You have a great day. And scene, I guess. I believe in the American dream, and I believe in the American way. But America has lost her way and everyone knows it. I always feel bad when they have to humiliate the security guard. Yeah, you have no power because he's on a public sidewalk. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> Did they really dispatch a second set of officers that coincided with the mail truck showing up? Wow. Am I in your way, man? Sorry. You're good. You're good, man. What are the chances there, right? Again, you guys must be here for the burgers. I don't know. Maybe that's not the oh, oh, bad cop. Oh, mocking me like a douchebag. Okay. So quickly I switched from being a nice guy to fuck the police. It's all it took was you being an asshole. How you doing? I just wanted to apologize. I realized you weren't deliberately being rude to me. You were just ignorant. And I, I apologize, man. You don't know that the FBI fired me from 11 jobs and literally killed a San Diego police officer for trying... How can trying... I help you today, sir? How can you help me? Yeah. You're helping me right now. What's okay. your name? Draw wow. and Baker. You guys have a great day, though. Thanks, you as well. I'm going to try. All right. All right, so I'm outside pacing. I'm 50th, so it's not... I... I tried sitting in the room and there's some funny comics, but I gotta get them out of my head and get my, I'm gonna get three minutes at the end of the night in an empty room. And here we go. Ghost of Phyllis Diller, yeah. Sorry, I was just filming okay. Phyllis. You guys are good, you guys are good. Oh wait, is that? Phyllis Diller, I barely know her. Is that part of the magic thing or what is that? Uh, no, this is the comedy club. That's, that's. Is that open time? Yeah. Really? Well, it's open mic. Oh. My name is Frank Barish, and I believe in America. 
Rodney. Richard. I believe in the American dream and I believe in the American way, but America has lost her way and, well, everyone knows it. Now I'm gonna get ready. Hard to dance with a chair and because I can't dance. Oh, I just hurt my back. Oh, oh, that was not. I'm only half kidding. I'm half kidding, folks. All right. Hopefully the right amount of cannabis edibles and lots and lots of water. And like a three hour wait and then I get to do this. All right, let's do this. Can you guys help? Can you guys do something from wherever you are? <laughs> I need to do this for my life, man. Can you help? This with a napkin in my hand, I don't even. And then I just threw it on the table. Like, you tell I'm homeless sometimes. Over in there. I'm in the green room with legends and this guy. Oh my god. You ready? Yeah, I was ready three hours ago. <laughs> That's what I say to myself in the mirror. And then turn it on and show you people. Because I need Frank Barish to appear on that stage. Because if Seth Aronson goes up there, it's not going to go well. He needs to be Frank Barish. Oh, yeah. Where are you? There you are. And I hope the edible kicks in at just the right moment. Let's see. The, the, the doorman's right there in the red jacket. Do you want to hear some comedy? I'm always up for something. Frank Barish live from San Diego. Yep. I'm here, folks. Oh boy, did these two hurry up to get on the car with me. Hello, please have your trolley tickets and passes available, please. I get it. Alright. Next station, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, San Diego live. Frank Barish, folks. Live from San Diego. Downtown San Diego. I don't know if they're gonna let me on stage. I don't know if they're gonna let me in with my props. And I don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? All right. Uh, see you when I get there. Uh, I think this is the gig. Let's see. So this is the place. There's no signs. I don't know where I'm supposed to stand or line up. Or what's going on? But Phyllis Diller's right there and she was awesome. Thank you, Phyllis. Even if I don't get on tonight, I got to see you. Do you guys know how they do the open mic? What's that? I don't know. You don't know? The open mic? Nah. I'm not sure. Okay. Do you know how they do the open mic? Oh. Do you know how they do the open mic? It starts at uh, 9.30 or 10, I don't remember. How do you get in? Like, They're going to open the door. This is a show right now. Okay, it after the show. It sounded like it's over. Actually, okay. Just now. So when they open the door, we line up here or we line up front? Thanks. Oh my god. Let's just say, he was killed by the CIA. She was killed by the CIA. He was killed by the CIA. He might have just died in a bathtub in France. That's possible. Uh, 
And Elvis, that's the look on his face when he died on the toilet taking a poop. So I'm waiting for the open mic to start at the madhouse and uh, I get in there and I'll get to get on their stage. We'll see. So it's confirmed in uh, 15 minutes the show that's in there ends and uh, the open mic night begins and I still can't get uh, my magic stand-up candy that gives me, makes me fearless so I can do stand-up. Magic fearless stand-up candy, oh yeah. Wait, I gotta unwrap it. Yeah, so I, I just can't, I can't bring in, I can't bring in uh, multiple. They can let you search it. Yeah, I, I, I just can't bring it in. Um, so I'm not, I, I literally, I literally have to stay up all night because I missed my, the closing of my, I have to ask the manager. I mean, it's my props for the, yeah. for the act. Yeah, he asked the manager, yeah, just letting you know uh, beforehand. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, let's get it figured out. I'm trying. Are you the manager? Yes. Okay, yes. so I'm a prop comic and my, my act is uh, what, on my third run for the presidency and I'm only homeless until you put me in the White House. I can let you guys search everything. Can you go through it? I mean, I just stashed in the corner. Obviously, it's not going to be too busy tonight. Yeah, yeah. Did you, you, you sign up for the mic? I don't really care about you coming in. That's, okay. That's not really a big deal. But since you didn't sign up, there's no guarantee that you'll get up today. Ah, I thought, a, I thought the sign-ups were... were well, they do the sign up on Sunday on Instagram. Oh. Um, yeah, and then you sign up for any day you want to go up. So I any know. other day that you come, you can sign up on the alt list, but there's no promises that okay. you get up. Hey, I'm, I'm willing to do and that. If, if you let me in, I will, I'm willing to do that. And if you do get up, it's going to be like... Quick. Well, no. Everybody gets the time they get. What, what is like it? Just three minutes. Three, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. But tonight, like, if you're on the alt list, you'll be at the end. Yeah, that's so fine. you'll no, be I... here for... I, I made the best in, in uh, at the Creek in the Cave in Austin. I got them to announce me as the headliner of the open mic because I went last. Yeah. So I don't mind going last. Yeah. So once the actual show is over yeah. and we open the doors for the open mic, yeah. I'll show you an area that you can put your stuff Perfect. until it's close to your time. Okay. And then, Perfect. Um, yeah. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, What's yeah. your name? No, Gabe. Gabe? Yeah. Gabe. I'm Frank. Frank. Okay. Thank you, Gabe. I appreciate it. So it looks like I might be getting in here, folks. Here we go. So, so where's the props? Say it again? Where should I put the props? So leave them right here and then I'm back to see your ID. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> folks. Presidential candidate coming through, folks. Watch yourself. Watch yourself, everybody. Oh, you went to court. All right. <laughs> Let's do this. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Here we go. So if I cheat, it's not um, my fault. Yeah, if you cheat, it's not your fault. <laughs> so I don't go on for like, can't have any more caffeine. That coffee, I haven't had coffee. I've had coffee once in the last month and a half. And then tonight, whole big bunch of coffee and tea. And I'm done with the caffeine, but uh, my lost farm is gonna get me on that stage, oh yeah. In like an hour and a half, oh yeah. I was just informed that that was her desk and she blew Bob Newhart on that desk. So, good job, Phyllis. <laughs> All right, guys. guys, Frank Ferris is about to announce his candidacy for the presidency in one minute. One minute, guys. Frank Ferris is about to announce his candidacy for the presidency in the brick room right now, bro. You guys got to see this, man. Let's hope I don't brick in the brick room. You don't really want nobody to look at 
you know. It's crazy. I need y'all to please make it loud for the next president of the United States. Woo! Frank Bush! Woo! Frank! 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 Sometimes I'm the only one. All right. I'm gonna leave this right by Cheech and Chong. My name is Frank Barish, and I believe in America. I believe in the American dream, and I believe in the American way. But America has lost her way. Well, everyone knows it. I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> All right. Well, off we go. I mean, I shouldn't leave with so many flyers. Frank for president. Write me in on election day. Frank Barish for America. I hope you all write me in on election day because I can't win unless everyone does. Or at least half the people. <laughs> write me in on election day. Okay. You missed my set, but you can see my stuff on social media. You guys oh, should. No, you were great, man. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Hey, me too. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> well, yeah, ch check out. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, man. Have a day. I can't become president unless everyone writes me in. Or at least half the people. That's going to be my new motto. Right? Print I printed that at the library. What? I appreciate it. Check me out on social media. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Did you get one? I didn't catch your name. Oh, hold on. Rudy. I posted on my social media. Yep, I hope you do. What's up, Justin? That is the point of social media. Thank you. Fuck yeah. Good, good job. Good job, man. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. you have a good night. I hope to see you. Yeah, I'm gonna come back. Hey, did you get one? Okay. Write me in on election day, everybody. Have a good night. And now I gotta say good night to Phyllis. Oh yeah. And it all came full circle. The same people standing in front of Phyllis Dilly. Thank you. Check it. You'll, it'll be on that social media in a few days. Yeah. You guys have a good night. And uh, scene, I guess. <laughs> I did it. Now I got to stay up all night because I'm stuck out here. In the middle of downtown San Diego. Where I just ran for president a little bit farther. Further? Further. I didn't yell Magfo. I should have yelled Magfo in the lobby on my way out. Damn it. I don't know if I can ever be president now. My name is Frank Barish and I am independent. The only party I care about is my inauguration day party. That's right folks, I am running for president of these United States of America again. This crow knows that there's something wrong with America. Don't you, crow? Exactly. We need to make America great for once. Magfo. Say it with me. Magfo. Be able to stay home, brother. Turn up your mind. Relax and down My name is Frank Barish and I approve this message. I will now take questions. Anyone? Questions? Okay. Good speech. I'm only homeless until you put me in the White House, America.